In this example, we want to solve log base 8 of x squared minus 2x equals 1. Before we solve this, I want to first address a common mistake. Okay, so, so what I'm about to do is wrong, so don't do it, um, but it's something I often see students do uh, on exams. So here, here it is, x squared minus 2x equals 1, and then solve that. Okay, so that's what not to do because it's different. You can't just get rid of the log 8 and set this inside equal to 1. That's not the case. So don't do that, but you're on the right track if you're thinking that. It's almost correct. You have to do one little thing there. You have to get rid of the logarithm. There's actually two ways to do that, so let's look at them both. The first is simply to convert it to exponential um, notation here. So we take our base, okay, we go around for the exponent, and then back inside for the equals. Okay, so that's how you convert it to exponential. What does that mean? So we take the base, 8, around for the exponent to the 1, back inside for the equals, x squared minus 2x. Okay, and now this is starting to look like an equation. Anytime you see an x squared, you should think that a 0 would be a good thing to have on the other side of the equals. So let's do that. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And from there we can factor. Hopefully, if it doesn't factor, we use the quadratic uh, formula. Quadratic formula. So we have x and x. Let's see. I'm thinking minus 4 plus 2 will do the trick. And then we set both of these equal to 0, giving us x equals 4, x equals minus 2. Now we're not done yet um, because we have to check each one of these to ensure that neither one of us, neither one of these gives something less than or equal to 0 inside the logarithm. So anytime you're working with logarithms you have to check your answers. So let's check it out. If we plug in a 4, um, so x equals 4, this gives, let's see, 16 minus 8 so I don't care what it is actually, I just care that it's positive. So this one's okay. So this is an answer, and then x equals negative 2. We plug that in, we get 4 plus 4, so that's also positive. I don't even care what it is, I just care that it's positive inside the log. So there we have two answers. Now I want to I want to address the other way to convert this into an equation that we can solve and to get rid of the log. Here's our equation again. Now, if you really don't like that kind of roundabout method um, to convert it to exponential form to solve, another way you can think of this is taking both sides base 8. Right? So I'm, I'm now bringing this equation basically up into the exponents, and I'm taking both sides base 8. Well, 8 to the power of log 8, these are inverse functions. And when you take one function and put it into its inverse, I don't want to say cancel out, because that's not entirely true. It's, it's more like they undo each other, leaving us only with what was inside. So this gives us x squared, whoops, x squared minus 2x, and then 8 to the 1 is clearly 8. 